Hey there, I'm Swiftkey and welcome back to Minecraft. So for those of you who were with me in the last part, you may remember that I had a little creeper incident and I have since fixed my house and I'm just hanging out outside it right now. It's so cute. I'm so in love with this house. Super proud of it. So I was thinking today that we would maybe start collecting some animals or starting a farm or something. Um, we definitely need to do that. My only issue is that there's not really any kind of open space near my house. Uh, so let's have a little wander around. I haven't actually explored the area around my house. There are so many pretty flowers. It's just such a pretty, pretty forest area. So uh, I might actually have to do a little bit of clear cutting to make room for a farm or an animal area. Um, I will hopefully eventually build a barn. Hello, Mr. Black Bear. Do you have your face buried in that tree? Yes. Yes, it is a fine tree. I, I'm, I'm glad you've decided to do that. Okay, so, oh, there's actually a cow up there in the tree. Perfect. So there are animals around that I can eventually, hopefully, collect for my farm. So let's get up here. Oh, and there's a whole another pond here. Oh my gosh, this is such a cool area. I'm so glad I decided to settle here. I'm just gonna keep saying that for a while. Sorry if I sound repetitive. Uh, so I'm kind of like, yeah, like I'm in a little bit of a valley here. Um, so I might have to do a little bit of terraforming so that I can kind of start a farm area. Um, now that being said, I probably don't need a very large farm. Um, I just need basically some wheat, some carrots, and I would like to get pumpkins and melons just because they're a really good source of food and you can cook stuff with them, which is handy. Um, but I need carrots to tame pigs and I need wheat and seeds to tame cows, sheep, and chickens. So let's just clear a little area here. Where, where, where should I put my farm? <laughs> decisions, decisions. Well, there's actually this little dip here. So I think if we clear out some of this dirt here, this would be a good spot. So let's do that. I can always move it later if I feel the need. So let's just push this back a bit. All right, so yeah, I think this, I think this area would be good. Let's fill up that. So let's start digging stuff up so we can, maybe I should put the fence up first. Actually, I'm gonna push this back a little bit more. And we'll have, do I have a fence? I don't have any fence with me. Okay, let's go grab some fence. Cause we don't want to, and I also need to fix that corner. <laughs> This is the only part left over from the creeper fiasco, but I do need to fix that corner, but I need pine wood to do that. So let's steal what little fence we have and I will go and make a farm. I also need to, you know, actually collect seeds and things to plant in my farm because what's the point otherwise? Also, I have some iron so I can make a bucket to uh, use for the irrigation. So let's see, uh, I don't have that much fence and unfortunately, just to give you guys a heads up, there's a weird glitch in my game where it won't let me make fences at a crafting table. I'm not sure why, it's really aggravating. <laughs> but uh, so I usually just go into creative mode and kind of create fence cause it's just, it's not worth fighting with the stupid glitch over. Um, so I might, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. So apologies guys, I know this is kind of cheating, but I would never do it for any kind of like rare things that I might need. So I'm actually gonna stay in creative mode while I make the fence, just because it makes things a little easier on me. Oh, so apologies again. I know this is kind of cheat cheating. Ugh. Creative mode, why? Uh, so, let's see. So if we have crops here, this can be water. And we probably want at least five. So one, one, two, three, four, five. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a huge mungus farm. Um, it's mostly just for 
whatever we might need for animal taming and whatever we might need to feed ourselves. I will eventually expand it, particularly if I come across pumpkins or melons or anything, uh, then I'll expand. But for right now, this is really all we need. I'm gonna have to make a hoe too, because everybody needs a hoe, am I right? Yeah, I am. Yeah, okay, lame jokes. Lame jokes, swift key, copyright 2016. All right, so uh, we'll put the gate. Mm, we'll put the gate here. Gate, since there's not really a. Mm, no, I will put the gate there, and you can go back to being a fence. Magic. Okay, so I think I've got a few wheat seeds hanging out in my house and I also need to get a bucket so let's go do that I also need to make a hoe and let's go back to oh uh, first let's get rid of that fence so goodbye and goodbye and I don't really need that dirt so goodbye to you as well and let's go back into regular mode perfect and let's see what we got in the way of things to grow. All right, we do, yes, we have seeds, but they're on us, honestly. Swift key, pay attention. All right, and let's make ourselves a hoe. And I am not wasting iron on a hoe because you literally just use it for farming and there's no need. So let's do that. And actually, I'm going to pop those flowers and the tree into storage because I do not currently need them. And I can start like a forest. I don't know why I'm keeping all those saplings. I really don't need them. Though I might keep the flowered ones because the flowered oaks are very pretty. Uh, um, hi. Can I help you? There's a lot of shade around here, so uh, that must be why the mod mobs are able to just hang out forever. It's not cool, guys. All right, and let's actually, oh, I was gonna make a bucket, my god. Let's set up some torches so we don't have enemies spawning in my farm, because that is not fun times. All right, so we actually need to get a bucket and water first. Da, 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 da. And it's gonna be dark soon. Took me all day to set up this tiny, tiny, tiny farm. Yep, that's my life. All right, let's make a bucket. And there we go. Oh, actually we should make shears too while we're at it because we'll need those for sheep. Perfect. And I got more rotten flesh, oh boy. I sure do love it when I get random rotten flesh from mobs. It's the best. It's the best. I'll add it to my rotten flesh collection. Yeah. <laughs> Minecraft is a weird game. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I don't need my wooden axe anymore. As as dear to my heart as that wooden axe is, I really don't need it in my life right now. And is it dark? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's go to bed and we'll finish off our farm tomorrow. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Do, 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 do. Perfect. All right, let's get our sword out because there's probably still mobs hanging around the house like they do. Better not be any creepers. I've had my fill of those for a while. And I need to get water. God, I am such a spaz. Pay attention, dear. All right, water. Oh, this is going to be a lot of running back and forth. Yep. This is going to be a lot of running back and forth. Ugh. Do, do, do. So I'm going to be running back and forth for a bit. So I will get you guys to join me when I am done collecting all of this water and getting the farm set up. So I will see you guys in a couple minutes. All right, guys, you can see I've got the water done here. So let's get hoeing. <laughs> Lame jokes again. 
All right, and uh, unfortunately I've only got three wheat seeds, which is kind of weird. So uh, we might have to go seed hunting. Oh, why didn't I make the fence wider there? Gosh. All right, so let's get our seeds planted here. There we go. And I'm actually gonna take that fence out and move it back one. Because we can actually fit more crops here. Since we got the water there, we might as well use both sides of it. All right, and do 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 do. Perfect. And I'm gonna run out of fence. Gosh darn it. Aren't I? Yes, yes I am. All right, create a mode it is. And I'm just gonna actually grab a bunch of fence because this is gonna get very annoying very quickly. Here we go, perfect. As you can see, I flick between creative mode and regular mode or survival mode quite frequently but again i will never exploit it as a you know means to getting like super cheap expensive resources or anything like that i wouldn't do that so it's it's only ever to just speed things up for you guys because i know minecraft can be quite grindy and i don't want you guys getting bored so it's just whenever i feel like we could speed things along by using creative mode without it being totally cheating i will use it that way okay so we got our little farm set up here perfect and uh next thing we'll be getting some animals um i don't know where i'm eventually going to let me get that little cave there um where i'm gonna put the burn i haven't actually explored this area very much as you can see since i just fell down into the cave that is in this area because i'm a genius all right, um, I'm actually going to dig my way out. There we go. Oh, okay, and it's right there. All right, so this is actually such a pretty area, such a pretty area, really like it. Oh, oh, that's just water, okay. And I'm trapping trees, like you do. So, Pretty sure it's just forest. It's pine forest up on the mountains behind me there, uh, or in front of me right now. Uh, oh, tree pig. I see you up there, tree pig. So yeah, it's actually, um, oh, another pig. So there's lots of pigs around that I can eventually collect, which will be great. Uh, there's quite a few deer. There's some cows wandering about. Man, this is pretty dense forest. There we go. Yeah, so that's all pine forest up there. There's actually a lot of berry bushes you can see right there. And uh, some of the trees actually have apples growing on them. You can see that there. So that is handy to have nearby. And uh, that's just forest biome, I believe. Hello, Mr. Cow. So yeah, there's uh, there's quite a few resources around. There's a sheep over there. So it looks like we can get all the major animals in this area. There are definitely some chickens wandering around too. Uh, we just need to figure out where we want to keep them. So again, I think we're probably gonna have to do a bit of terraforming to build a barn. Um, but for right now, we'll probably just make a kind of a fenced off area somewhere where we can stick our animals for the time being. Um, I would prefer if they weren't right next to the house, just because uh, they can be quite loud. <laughs> and I don't really want to be hanging out in my house and just hearing like, all the time. So uh, let's see if there's any space over here. Because we can have our farm on one side and our animals on the other. That would be nice. Yeah, those flowered oak trees are quite pretty. I like the flowers on them. It's quite nice. Hello, Mr. Sheep. Are you are you enjoying the tree there? Jolly good, sir. 
So yeah, unfortunately with forest biomes, there's not much in the way of open space. So yeah, I might actually just kind of clear out some of this area, uh, cover up probably that pool there because it's not really serving a purpose. There's a floating tree there like you do. Um, so yeah, probably just uh, kind of clear an area for my animals, but I will probably do that in the next video. But for now, let's head back to the house. And I will probably end this video here. Um, so we got a farm started. Next thing is to get animals and I'll probably do a little bit more exploring and mining to get some more resources. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please feel free to press the like button or subscribe. Uh, your support is always very much appreciated. And I will see all you guys in my next video. Have a great day.